Check it out. Here is the construction update for Sapphire Falls. It's like almost open. It's crazy. I can't wait to stay there in this parking garage. Also. What? You can't uh, see over there. I know you can't, but I just wanted to let them know that Volcano Bay has gone vertical. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's exciting. <laughs> it is exciting. Here's the little Universal Orlando sign. Check it out. Whoa, what is that? That looks like those floating mountains at Disney. I think it's another uh, building. Oh. We're here, we're here. Can you guys tell where we are? Oops, kind of hard to see, sorry. <laughs> like, here you go. Here's some like, some like wine barrels. Here's a better view. Those oh yeah, some grapes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, it's like a vineyard back there. A little teeny tiny vineyard. I wonder if they use those grapes to make wine here. There's more grapes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Grapes everywhere. Oh, 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 that's an accident waiting to happen. So we are at Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel at Universal Orlando Resort for a charity event. Oh, okay. Feeding children everywhere. There we go, this is what we're headed to. Look how beautiful it is here. Yeah. So basically what we're doing is we're putting together meals for uh, children in need. Yeah. You can see it. Basically we're putting together all those boxes over there to ship out. Lots and lots of food going out today. Cutting open new bags of food so that we can fill littler bags. Oh, here's the Christmas tree at uh, Portofino Bay. All right, here's our table. This is exciting. These are all of our food. Yes. All right, Kelly, you're in charge of the beans. Don't let us down. Rice and lentils. Rice and lentils. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a bagger. This is the person that holds the bag. Tim, Tim is our bagger. I'm the bagger. This is our bag man. Okay, so you put in salt, then you put a scoop of veggies, then you put a scoop of rice, rice and then a level scoop of lentils. And the lentils. Right, there's our first bag. Alright. So open the bag though. Yeah, that's gonna be me. And we hand it off. Here's what we're doing. We're bagging up all these bags. I don't know, we can cook too much. Salt, vegetables, rice, and lentils. And then we gotta weigh them. And then we seal them up, make sure they're all sealed and good. I feel like we're officially out of lentils. Yeah, so overall 75,000 boxes. See, there they are, filling them up. And each one has 24 12 meal bags. There's totally a minion right there. That's exciting. Yeah, we get some like refreshments here now. I wonder what they got. Ooh, some Cracker Jacks and some granola bars. And then like sodas and such. Exciting. They got little like Vespas out here for you to take your pictures on out in front of Portofino Bay. Look at how pretty it is out here. Wow. Oh, and there's like a little uh, Fiat too. I like how they put the Fiat like in here with all these other cars. It's so tiny. It's a Fiat. Is this like a real original one? Uh, it might be. It looks like it's made out of fiberglass at this point. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, no, it's rusting. Oh, it could be original one. So after we do a little bit of charity, we come and we play at Universal. So we're going to check out the prop shop and see what kind of fun stuff they have in there. Right outside of NBC Grill Brew, there's a cart that sells NBC Grill Brew merchandise. It's exciting. I'm going to go ahead and guess that all of that will be half off very soon. <laughs> We got some awesome garland around the arches and they're playing uh, Christmas music. So the prop shop is a store that sells like different memorabilia from Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Uh, like different things taken out of rides and stuff like that. Rides that have closed, like various props from those. Uh, and it took over the magic shop down on Hollywood. So we're gonna go check it out. First things first, we stopped by guest services because uh, John there at the turnstiles was awesome. So we went in and said, hey, yeah. John's doing a bang up job. He was so nice. Give that guy like some some Upgrade. universal bucks or whatever yeah. you guys do. Yeah, it was great. Walls all the way up around Lucy and uh, this was the Betty Boop store. And we've already started to do some demo there. Yeah, I can't wait. This is gonna be Hello Kitty, we think. Scooby and the gang are out. This is awesome. Yeah. You well? Thank you. Have a groovy day. No, they're checking themselves out in the mirrors. <laughs> Pop is out there doing like their little set. And we're going into, oh, is it a squirrel? We're going into Williams of Hollywood, which is where the prop shop is. Let's do it. These are awesome. 
Hello! Horror night stuff, some TVs. Lots of... Wow. I want this one. That is awesome. How much do you guys think? Eh, 750 bucks. Look at that. Yes, this is what I want. Some like awesome props from Horror Nights. How much? This one's uh, like uh, 1200 bucks. I like the dinosaurs that they did and then they can like inscribe your name on it. Oh man. Do they get engraved? Do, do they get engraved? Look at this enchantment under the sea poster too. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, is this for Jaws? No, this is from um, uh, Back to the Future. Oh, because Jaws was having a picnic or something. It was 4th of July. Yeah, well, there's flux, flux capacitor right here. The Temple of Gozer. Oh. These are awesome. Huh. Look at this Wakita sign too. That is awesome. Some like Horror Nights mask casts. Look at this parking meter too. That's awesome. I would have loved to have seen the warehouse that these came out of because you can like see that this was in a warehouse. This is awesome. Oh, of course they are. Because that movie made a billion bucks. Did you hear about Herman's The guy wants to be in it. I know, but the, the guy that was starring the other two just wants to be in it. I'm sure. <laughs> And I'm sure wow. I kind of feel like 250 bucks is a deal for this accordion. Is it real? Yeah. These little portraits are my jam. These are awesome. This is awesome. I want this. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw the What is it? That is awesome. Oh, that's really funny. Do, do we need a card catalog? No. I kind of feel like we do. Like. Oh, that's really cool. This is pretty awesome. How much? Huh, $2,500, all right. Plastic balloons. Oh, I like them. I, this is creepy. Yeah, it is. I really like this, though. That's fun. He's ready to punch him. So there are two kind of products in here. You got, like, stuff that's collectible from Universal, and then you got the stuff with the white tags that's just, like, vintage stuff. So, pretty awesome. Like, there's a vintage piranha. So, of course, we asked if we could use our annual pass discount and you can't in the store at all. You can't use your annual pass discount on anything except for rain ponchos. <laughs> and there's very little twister stuff left. And this is not for sale yet, because it's wired in. And this is also from Twister uh, for 400 bucks for a weather vane. And then that case right now is from Twister and it's the most expensive thing in the store for $2,500. SpongeBob characters out and about. <laughs> Just like roller skating around. Are we allowed to walk in the street? I'm doing it. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Hey Jen, is that the Krusty Krab? What? I said, is that the Krusty Krab? Where? Right there. I think so. This is not working the way that I thought it would. No, try it. Try it on. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, good. Squidward Tortellini. There's a roller skating fish. Nobody gave her a high five. Oh, lots of Christmas decorations out and about. Oh, and it looks awesome. Oh look, there's the saxophone player for the for the Blues Brothers right there. Because they're right here. Do you think that this is really what it looks like in New York? Like, is this how they decorate? Mm, I don't know. Like, just regular people on the street like this? I don't know. Maybe not. It looks really awesome. I hope <laughs> they do. Yeah, Blues Brothers party getting ready to start. Christmas tree is all decorated and ready for the Macy's Parade. Look at that. Might be hard to see, but all the lights are already turned on on all the garland and trees on the Macy's building. Here's the new location for straight out of food truck. Also, they like covered over the lions back there, which is interesting. Scrim's still up. I don't know what they're doing, maybe repainting it, but more decorations, lots of decorations. Pretty awesome. I feel like the rocket is down right now. Poor Twister. Yo, it is darn packed here today. People are climbing the wall like Spider-Man. It's usually, like, there's nobody usually doing it. But the park is so packed, this is the shortest line. He just got up to the ladder and he's like, I got this. Oh no, what happened to Lou Wasserman? You will be forever missed. So Beetlejuice is still closing, but they extended the closing date until January. Whereas before they were saying it was going to close December 6th. 
I think, or third, one of those two, but they extended it until January. Because disaster is closed, there's a new like street performance show out here and we totally missed it. Like they just finished doing their thing right now as I'm walking up. It's called Flying Fish Market. Just missed them. They do like juggling and stuff like that and all sorts of other fun acrobatic type stuff. And then across the way, we've got the street breaks where they do break dancing out here. And then you can still see all the construction walls with the graffiti all over them for disaster or Fast and the Furious. They've added to it. Did they? I think you're right. I think there is new background imagery, imagery like the little like city scene and stuff like that. All right, that was a fun trip. There are just too many people here to do anything. So we're going to get something to eat. Tonight, there is a Daughtry concert for free here. Like as long as you have park admission, you get in free to the Daughtry concert. And they're all set up or they're still setting up right now, but looks like it's gonna be pretty good People are already waiting maybe even the line for Dippin Dots is kind of long The second theater for Shrek was shut down for Horror Nights because Asylum and Wonderland was in there But it is back open now. So Shrek 3 Shrek 4D is back at full capacity The Minion movie is coming to DVD and Blu-ray uh, December 8th and so they're like advertising it with this sweet car This is like a little Ford van type thingy it's cool. I wonder if you can, I uh, mean, they should give this away. I'll drive it. I'll drive a minion car. Everybody has Christmas trees. Even cowfish has little Christmas trees inside. And I always like showing you guys this wonderful graffiti artwork that they do out on City Walk. Is this a new sign? I know the sun is behind it and I wish it wasn't because they just repainted the uh, entire lighthouse. So we're outside of Margaritaville in the Porch of Indecision and we're taking this walkway to the Royal Pacific Hotel to go eat at Jake's American Bar. Thought for sure you'd be able to see the thing from here, but you still can't. Uh, let me see if I do like this. There you go. Now you can see some of the painting that they did. Oh, and there's a boat coming. And there's a boat coming. Oh dear. Hey boat. <laughs> wow, look at this thing. There you go. Now you can see some of the new color on there. The walkway that makes you feel like you have to pee. <laughs> this is kind of like when you're walking from, what is it, uh, MGM to... Boardwalk. The boardwalk? Yeah, yeah, and you have to go under that bridge where like if you do a run Disney event, they have like the DJ under there. Yeah. So this is like, it's like the Disney bridge. I like, you know what? I feel like I want to be that run DJ, like that run Disney DJ and be like, DJ under the bridge! He'd be like DJ Troll. Ba, 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 DJ ba, ba, Troll, 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 Troll. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. DJ Troll is much better than DJ under the bridge. You have to pay the troll toll. Night, oh. man. <laughs> Coming underneath the bridge and we start to get our first view of Sapphire Falls in the distance. And I know the sun is in the background, but there's the view of Sapphire Falls and Jake's boat and everything. Here's the Royal Pacific Pool. They have a Christmas tree out by their pool. This is a real Christmas tree. Is it? Yeah, that's kind of impressive. This is like a, a real tree. Oh yeah, it is. Huh. Here's their Christmas tree too. It's very nice. Oh look, the tree topper is like... More tree parts? Oh, I, I like how it's got fish everywhere. Yeah, and that, like fish net. Yeah, these that's bubbles. cool. These are supposed to look like bubbles. Oh, I like it. Yeah. And now we're in Jake's American Bar, which is... Uh, like the little bar at Royal Pacific. Hardly anybody ever here. They do a beer dinner here, which is awesome. It's like 80 bucks and you get all kinds of beer. I think you get a beer with every course. There's our menu at Jake's. I'm gonna kind of go through it really quick. I think one of the things that we're gonna get is this uh, cheese and tomato salad right here. And then I was thinking maybe I would get this loaded meat pizza or this burger right here. The B1 Bomber Burger. And then there's all this stuff down here that, I don't know, I'm not in the mood for anything this, like, heavy. I feel like we're watching Star Wars right now. Look at this, and here is their craft beer list. Holy macaroni, this thing is huge. Wow. And then it goes over here. And then onto their wine list. Ding, dang, I know I'm going through it kind of fast, but this one's a long one. We got this salad. It's pretty all right. It kind of, the piece of meat on the top looks kind of strange. Well, it's a burrata salad. Normally this comes together and you've cut it yourself. So I don't know why they cut it for us. Hmm. But I know, I'll be honest with you. We're not having a great experience so far. Right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's my burger. Looks awesome. 
And then Jen got the braised short ribs, which look amazing. Yeah. They look like a meatloaf, but <laughs> probably way better tasting. What's this thing? This is a potato pancake. Oh. But it's like a little, a little like fried. A it's it's like uh, shredded potatoes though, like a hash brown in a like a square shape. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, asparagus. Asparagus, and then there's mushrooms here too. Heck yeah. So we just finished at Jake's American Bar. It was delicious. The burger was amazing. The short ribs were amazing. A little bit dry, but not bad. But service was like left a little bit to be desired. <laughs> we had to get a little bit rowdy and then they like started being more attentive to us. We gotta go inside and upstairs. So yeah, I, I don't know, it feel, I felt like the people that sat inside had better service than we had sitting outside. Is this juxtaposition blowing your mind right now of a Christmas tree with people in the pool behind it? Look at that view of Sapphire Falls as we get on the boat heading back to the parking garage. Look at that. This guy, there's a DJ out at City Walk. He's no like under the bridge DJ, but he sounds pretty all right. Well, that was a fun day volunteering and then going to Universal Orlando and the food at Jake's was really good. Uh, yeah, we did have a little bit of issue with the server, but uh, it, it was okay. The food made up for it. So we're off to bed. No telling what we'll do tomorrow, but I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.